I think that's the big, I think you got to hit the ground running. I mean, we've, we've seen it before where morning show, you know, Christmas falls in the middle of the week and they give the morning show uh, the next two days off. And I think that any weekday after a Chris, you know, after Christmas, you want your talent back on, you want the station shining uh, and, 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 and being a good choice, particularly, you know, if you've been all Christmas, um, you got to you got to put your best foot forward. And I think, unfortunately, a lot of stations get really lazy and sloppy and and fall into the malaise, that dead zone and are not prepared for after Christmas. It comes back to having a plan and being prepared for January and using that time in the dead zone to ramp from the momentum of Christmas into that dead zone and and into January. And that's whether you're changing a complete format or you're just introducing a new feature, a new contest, a new promotion, a new game. It's the perfect time to introduce something new. But you've got to have a plan and you've got to be enthusiastic about it. And for personalities, uh, the you know, one of the things that drives me crazy is that first weekday back, let's say Christmas ends up on a Thursday or Friday. And you're off uh, for that rest of the weekend and you come back on Monday and everybody, the, the audience is back into their real life again. But you've been off the air for two weeks now and you come on and you act like we've got to catch everybody up on what happened over the last two weeks. And they have turned the page and they have moved on and they are so over hearing you talk about what you were doing on Christmas Eve. Right. Um, so you've got to get into the audience's mindset. So you can reflect that in January just as much as you try to reflect that at Christmas.